With blood and with spirit, we will liberate Palestine. A common chant throughout the Arab world and the Palestinian territories, PLO militants, Hamas terrorists chanted at every rally. It's not an uncommon chant, but it is not common in the heart of central Tel Aviv during a rally that was ostensibly pro-Israel, but against the new Jewish nationality law. The weekend rally organized by Arab Israeli groups and about 30,000 protesters were there, trickled in with those tens of thousands of protesters. Palestinian flags, the words perhaps outraged at Israel being declared a Jewish state, highlighting Jewish settlement as a value eclipsed by the sight of those flags flying at Rabin Square. A law that says that there are two kinds of citizens in the state, first-class citizens who have rights and are protected under the Constitution, and second-class citizens that you can give them rights as individuals, but in terms of the definition of the nation, they do not actually have any rights. I'm here today at the protest because we felt that the nation-state law, as it is, is a continuation of the path this government... Here's what Israel's Prime Minister had to say after the rally ended. Israel is a Jewish and democratic state. Individual rights are well stressed in the basic law and in other laws. Now it's even more clear that we need the nation-state law. We need it in order to secure the future of the state of Israel as the nation-state of the Jewish people. We passed this law and will keep this law. And we'll also note here that for every one Palestinian flag is likely there was at least a thousand protesters without one. Nevertheless, the sight of those flags, deeply troublesome to many. With me in studio, Omri Evron. Omri is a member of the Central Committee of Israel's Communist Youth League and Arsene Ostrovsky. Arsene is a human rights attorney and political commentator. Thank you both for being with us. Omri, I want to start with you. The sight of those flags at that rally over the weekend, did it bother you? Uh, first of all, I think it's a bit um, silly that, uh, well, obviously I was there along with tens of thousands of other uh, Jews and Arabs who believe that our country needs to be a country that treats every citizen as equal, regardless of race, creed, religion. Uh, and I think it's kind of silly that uh, in among those tens of thousands of demonstrations, demonstrators, everyone are focusing on maybe a dozen flags. Uh, nonetheless, uh, those flags did not bother me. As you could, if you were there, you could also see there were um, Israeli flags, uh, there were even gay rights flags, and uh, others. Uh, and uh, it's because the Palestinian, uh, Arab Palestinian national minority among Israeli citizens is the one under attack. And the issue of debate is whether they should have collective uh, right or should they be uh, discriminated against because they are not Jews. Oh, so and not as a result, the very right to have a national identity, to have national symbols, to have a language, a culture, is a right that needs to be defended, not one that needs to be erased. And okay. it doesn't benefit me no, no, as a no, Jew no, 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 to erase it. To, to hear. I don't think there's anyone erasing anything over here. What I'm seeing is a lot of hyperbole. I'm seeing a lot of people that perhaps maybe haven't even read the act in full. The act doesn't do anything of, of the sort. It just enshrines uh, Israel as a nation state of the Jewish people, which is not a controversy, and it remains and it defends all our rights as a democracy. Now, what I saw at the protest was more than a few people. It, it, and it wasn't just Palestinian flags. It was the chance, as you said, that we will liberate Palestine with blood and spirit. There were slurs of uh, Israel as an apartheid state. You name it. It was. This wasn't people protesting uh, the nation state law. These were people protesting the downfall of the state of Israel itself. They, they were they want to deny the Jewish people our right to national self determination and instead replace that with a Palestinian state. I'm no, sorry. No, we are only the, and, and someone again who was there and part of the organizers. We are uh, decrying the fact that this law mean, uh, says very clearly that only the Jewish people have a right of self-determination in this country. We're not this denying the fact, the Jew, we're not denying the fact that the we Jewish as Jews people. have a right of self-determination. That's not on debate. The question is whether we agree actually, with Netanyahu's... Actually, actually, that is the debate. The question You're is very... whether you agree with Netanyahu's formula that whatever is bad for the Arabs is good for us as Jews. The fact that I'm saying Palestinians don't have collective right does not benefit me as a Jew. It does not protect me. On the contrary, because I, as a Jew with a family who knew discrimination, want my country to be a country that respects equal rights for everyone, including collective rights for any minority, your means that very my platform, interest... Your very platform of your party specifically 
rejects Israel as a Jewish state. No, our party, deni- uh, no, it's I don't know about Hadash, we specifically call Zionism. for a multicultural uh, you country. You belong to a that communist have, party yes, which that calls for a multicultural uh, society that have Zionism. rights for it everyone. Not, it does have the rights to everyone, but you have the to get the reality that The nation state specifically that says is, that it is an exclusive right for the Jewish people. No, it doesn't. Why should no, my Arab neighbors it says that Israel is the there. Jewish state, but it remains my, a democratic why state. Why should my neighbors be discriminated against? Let me jump in here real quick. I want to make sure that the voices are heard clearly. I want to ask just a, a separate question, Arson. Aside from this weekend's debate, which did have you know, a dozen, 20 Palestinian flags amongst the crowd, the fact is it's the third massive weekend protest in a row, close to 200,000 people all told, including more than a dozen mm-hmm. IDF generals, Druze, IDF commanders, LGBT community leaders. A lot of people are outraged about this bill. It wasn't just this one rally. It's a series mm-hmm. of rallies. Don't, why should the, their voices are in unity against the bill that omits the word equality, promotes Jewish settlement? Aren't they legitimate criticisms? Many of them are legitimate, and I'm glad you brought that up. And let's compare the protests last week with the Druze community. I was at both protests. Yeah. The Druze community came there, they came with their Israeli flags, they came with their Druze flags. They came there and they spoke proudly as as citizens of the state of Israel, which they said is a Jewish state. They had both flags, Druze and Israeli, and they ended their rally with singing of the Hatikva. At the protest yesterday, we saw Palestinian flags, hardly any Israeli flags. We saw chanting of, uh, we'll redeem Palestine. We saw calls for the, uh, the Palestinian right of return, though, no, in the Hatikva, that's another issue. The protest yesterday wasn't a call for equal rights. The protest yesterday was quite simply the call for the destruction of Israel as a nation state of the Jewish people and to replace it with either a Palestinian state or some kind of a utopian binational state. Um, is it a call for the destruction of Israel as a, as a Jewish state? I mean, those chants certainly for many are troubling. Um, the aim of the protest, as uh, anyone who was there and heard uh, the uh, leaders from uh, the podium and heard the majority of the chants of the people and the crowds, would show very clearly that this was a historic moment in which tens of thousands of Jews and Arabs chose to march side by side for equality was it among the variety as, as, as of political or movement. Palestinian nationalism. That's what some, it's many people are exactly arguing. what we are arguing is that one does not come at the expense of the other. My right as a Jew to uh, have collective rights of self-determination is not contrary to the fact that my neighbors as Arab Palestinians, citizens of Israel, also have collective rights. It is only Netanyahu's extremist nationalist government's formula that uh, because he um, built his career on peddling uh, divisiveness and racism, that anything that's bad for the Palestinians is therefore good for the Israelis. We, tens of thousands of Jews and Arabs together, showed the exact opposite. Not because we think we can convince a politician that uh, profits from racism, but mostly for the centrist politicians who were too cowardly to stand with us to well, share this is the alternative. Arson, with Jews and Arabs together is the only way Respecting each other as equals, collectively and individuals, okay. that we the can fact, build an equal democratic that, society. The fact that even the centrist parties, the fact that even the left wing, mainstream left wing parties, completely and utterly reject it and condemn the protests yesterday should ring some alarm bells in your head that this wasn't a protest about equal rights. This was a protest against the very existence of Israel as a Jewish state. And I'm sorry, but that will not change. We'll remain a Jewish state and we'll remain a democracy with full civil rights for everyone, notwithstanding the hyperbole, notwithstanding the lies, notwithstanding whatever you may shout. It is a fact that two peoples live in this country. And all peoples, under Not the face of the people, earth. Many peoples live in this country. And, you know, yes, but the fact sure, of the matter other is, minorities this is deserve right as well. The nation state and of the Jewish every people and just peoples the Jewish on the face people, of the earth have a right people of people self-determination. Have full, civil, and correct, Anyone, the Palestinians have the right to self-determination in their own future Palestinian state. Right, Not in so the state of the Israel. National state but state doesn't say civil civil what is the, the borders of the state of Israel. Because that's because the current politicians of the government who wrote this law think it is greater as the biblical state of Israel. Israel, right. and therefore they All do right. not I have to, want to I have to, I have to, to we're coming up on a break we have to leave it here